look around on the internet, especially places like BitChute, I've been seeing people actually getting bent out of shape because brands like Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben's and Cream of Wheat are changing their logos as to not be racially and culturally insensitive. They're saying things like, oh, it's, it's a sign of the decline of America. And I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me. The way that the branding on different products is a, is that important? Come on now. Um, you're upset over that? And some people will ask, well, well, what's wrong with some of these, uh, th these images? And like, well, okay, here, here's, here's Aunt Jemima, right? Here's one of the, uh, the, er the earlier images of Aunt Jemima, right? It's representing uh, mammy stereotypes. You know, the whole mammy thing has to do with, as I, I've highlighted here, enslaved black females were tasked with domestic and child care work in white American enslaver households. You know, it's... It's basically putting a happy face on slavery. You know, that's it's why Song of the South... You know, the, the movie Song of the South by Disney, it's one of the major reasons why that is viewed as racist, because it's portraying Uncle Remus as being happy, very happy to be on the plantation, that that's been his life, that that's his existence, you know? This notion that, that people are happy when they're in captivity, that people are happy when they're made to be submissive, right? So then there's cream of wheat, um, you know, might seem initially innocent, but when you look more into it, it's using, uh, it's using a, a character chur of, a, a black person. It's using this character named Rastus. It's, uh, it's a generic kind of term, but it's, it's also a negative one. It has negative connotations on it, to it. And, um... You know, it says, this says, uh, Rastus is a pejorative term traditionally used with African Americans in the United States. It's something from the late 1800s, early 1900s. Um, as you can, you can see this, this ad on the right, I'll, I'll go switch to an image of it that's been restored. And as you can see by the text here, it's not really the best stereotype, right? So... You know, so they're getting rid of that, and, and that seems reasonable to me. Then there's the Uncle Ben's thing. Now, Uncle Ben seems to be the most harmless one out of these, because, you know, when you look into it, um, it's not really representing slavery. I suppose it's representing this notion of a happy, submissive black man, <clears throat> but uh, the image is based on a Chicago head, uh, head waiter named Frank Brown. And Uncle Ben was an African-American rice grower known for the quality of his rice. So this one is the one that, that makes the least sense, but I, underst I still understand why they're doing it, and I certainly don't have a problem with it. I think it's a step in the right direction. This isn't like removing statues, okay? This isn't... Uh, this isn't like, this isn't actually removing a piece of, of history, right? Now, some people have said about the statues, they say, you know, because I've said uh, th these statues should have a plaque uh, on the bottom of them that gives context and shows what this person really represented. And others have, have made some suggestions that I think are very good, and that's, to remove those statues from those places and place them in a museum. And you know what? That's a very reasonable answer. I think that's a good, good route. But I don't think these statues should be destroyed. I, I just, that just seems silly to me. But, uh, but uh, then there's uh, Landa Lakes um, recently changed their logo. They got rid of the uh, the Native American woman in it, because, I mean, Land Lakes doesn't have anything to do with uh, Native Americans. It's just, it's just a brand. 
And uh, so, you know, it used to, uh, used to, well, now my face is in the way of that, uh, but uh, used to look like that, and now it looks like this. Oops, it's Land of Kazoom now, right? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to a time when they finally get rid of the name Redskins as a football team. You know, I've, I've always thought that one was messed up. Anyway, I guess that's all I've got to say. I just think it's silly that some people are getting upset at so many of these little changes. I mean, is it just because it's, it's, a, it's a change in the way the packaging is? I mean, do you get upset every time Duncan Hines changes their packaging? Oh no, you have to look a little bit longer to find the product that you want because you can't rely on the color scheme and the fonts that they use? Do you, do you get really upset over those changes? Uh, if, they, if they change their packaging, is, is that a sign of the decline of America? Oh, but if, if they change their packaging for reasons that they don't want to, to seem racist, oh, oh, that's the decline. I don't know, it's just stupid to me. You know? There's a lot more significant things to be upset about.